Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gennady Stolyarov II, and I'm the chairman of the United States Transhumanist Party. While I regret that I am not able to attend the Transvision 2017 conference in person, I am happy to offer you this presentation of the U.S. Transhumanist Party's achievements during my first year as chairman. As always, if you are interested in additional details, please feel free to visit our website at www.transhumanist-party.org. My first decision when I became chairman on November 17, 2016, was to open the U.S. Transhumanist Party for membership, which was not the case under the leadership of the party's founder, Zoltan Istvan. And membership in the Transhumanist Party is free and always will be. There is a simple membership application form on our website. You can find it by navigating to become a member on the top bar of links. Furthermore, of interest to many of you, non-residents of the United States are able to become allied members and vote on our internal ballots, even though they would not be eligible to vote in U.S. elections. We seek to be a prominent part of a truly international transhumanist movement, and as a result, we are perhaps the most open political party in the world to individuals who are not residents of the country to which the political party pertains. Thus far, we have reached the threshold of 700 members. My goal within the next year is to reach 10,000 members, so more than an order of magnitude increase. We encourage our members to actively contribute to the U.S. Transhumanist Party's deliberations. We have monthly general discussion threads that are opened on our website for any subjects that are not addressed in an explicit post or article, but rather that some member would wish to bring up for general consideration. Also, all members get added to a Google group where it is possible to engage in email discussions amongst themselves. Our first major achievement occurred in late 2016, although the resulting document was compiled in January of 2017. And this was version 2.0 of the Transhumanist Bill of Rights. The first version was written by Zoltan Istvan. It was written during the course of an evening and delivered to the U.S. Capitol on December 14, 2015. And it had six articles in total. However, when I became chairman, Zoltan encouraged me to involve the membership of the Transhumanist Party to see if we could expand and refine upon this document and make it a product of the transhumanist community. And this is what we did in late December of 2016 via ranked preference voting. This was our first attempt at that structure of voting, where instead of just voting for a single option, one rank orders the options, and then there is an instant runoff process such that if one's first option does not get selected, one's second choice gets reassigned the first ranking in the next round, and this continues until one option gets a majority of the reassigned votes. The result of this process consists of 25 articles, as well as an extensive preamble that defines, in a broad sense, the sentient entities to whom rights should apply, because in the future, once the technology of artificial intelligence advances, and perhaps the technologies of genetic engineering that might enable the uplifting of non-human animals, we are going to have more beings than humans who would be capable of bearing rights. More generally, the articles of the Transhumanist Bill of Rights focus on areas such as life extension, health, morphological freedom, technological progress, privacy, and self-improvement. And you can find the full text of version 2.0 on our website. Our next endeavor was to develop a wide-ranging platform whose planks are based, again, on member recommendations. We held five voting periods where the members got to deliberate over suggested platform items and then vote on them during a course of a seven-day electronic voting period, which followed a public exposure period of at least 15 days for each set of issues. During each exposure period, it was possible for additional options to be provided, and it was possible for the public to engage with the options that had been proposed. Right now, we are in the midst of yet another exposure period that runs through November 11th, and then platform vote number six will begin. If you join by that time, then you will be eligible to vote on this ballot. Under consideration will be 19 proposed new planks and three proposed amendments to existing planks, amendments to previously adopted planks, constitute a new process for us, so this will be an interesting experiment. Please follow the link below to see the options during this exposure period. And furthermore, you can help by spreading our platform, writing articles, position statements, and in-depth analyses motivated by particular planks. Please feel free to express your own opinions and your own suggestions in doing so, as the goal is to involve the transhumanist community and help to continually refine 
our approach toward political issues. We are also pleased to have recently established our Foreign Ambassador Program. The aim of the Foreign Ambassador Program is to expand the international reach of transhumanist ideas and again foster this collaboration among transhumanists of all countries. The job of a foreign ambassador involves recruiting allied members as well as providing periodic reports of activities held in the ambassador's country. For instance, special events that the ambassador hosted or methods of communication that have shown to be particularly effective in advocating for transhumanism and life extension, as well as achievements on the ground that the ambassador has been able to observe or bring forth. The foreign ambassador is then encouraged to write status updates that can be published as articles on the U.S. Transhumanist Party website so that everybody throughout the world can be aware of the good work that has been done. We thus far have foreign ambassadors in Brazil, Bulgaria, Chile, Egypt, England, Hong Kong, India, Nigeria, and Scotland. But as you can see, there are many more countries where foreign ambassadors would be highly desirable. So we encourage you, if you reside in a country where we haven't filled this role, to please apply. We have a separate application for foreign ambassadors on our website, and that is in addition to the membership application. The U.S. Transhumanist Party officers will then deliberate over the choice of ambassador and announce their decision several days after all information is submitted. We held a wide range of notable events during 2017, beginning with our discussion panel on artificial intelligence, followed by my virtual presentation to the People Unlimited group in Scottsdale, Arizona, followed by a discussion panel on life extension in February. Our discussion panels seek to assemble leading experts in the subject areas being discussed. So for instance, we had David Kelly and Mark Wasser among the participants on the AI discussion panel. We had Aubrey de Grey and Bill Andrews among the participants in the discussion panel on life extension. I also delivered a virtual presentation in March to the Extreme Futures Technology and Forecasting Work Group, and then I delivered several live presentations, a lecture against war at the University of Nevada, Reno, followed by remarks at a panel on artificial intelligence and automation at Freedom Fest in Las Vegas in July. Then the most impactful presentation of this year has been my introduction to the Transhumanist Party at RadFest 2017 in San Diego, where I spoke before an audience of approximately 700 people on how the U.S. Transhumanist Party is pursuing a peaceful revolution for longevity. In September, I delivered a virtual presentation to the Vanguard Scientific Instruments and Management 2017 conference, which was held in Ravda, Bulgaria. And furthermore, the U.S. Transhumanist Party has held three virtual question and answer sessions. The one on February 5th was conducted by me alone. The sessions on July 15th and October 21st involved several of our officers who have been doing an excellent job. So I encourage you to listen to the recordings of these extensive Q&A sessions. And also I encourage you on November 18th, 2017, to listen to our forthcoming discussion panel on art and transhumanism, where I have assembled the largest array of experts on these subject areas that we have yet had in the panel. In early October on our website, we released a detailed frequently asked questions document, which addresses common inquiries we have received about the key facts, the history, and the objectives of the U.S. Transhumanist Party. I will briefly highlight our near-term political objectives that are elaborated upon in the FAQ. First, we seek to grow in membership. That is our principal objective at present. We seek to coordinate with state-level transhumanist parties, hopefully to eventually obtain ballot access and run some candidates. We wish to hold many events and publish materials to influence public opinion, which is our most impactful function at this time. And as I've said, we wish to explore running candidates, particularly at the local level where the ballot access requirements may be less stringent, while we gradually create the infrastructure to meet the state level ballot access requirements. We have many ongoing projects and aspirations. I envision the U.S. Transhumanist Party website as a hub of activism possibilities to enable ordinary people of ordinary means, who perhaps have limited time, to get involved in projects where they can make a difference. For instance, distributed computing initiatives, or crowdfunding campaigns, or citizen science programs where they could directly contribute to research. We would like to regularly publish content from our allied organizations and prominent individual transhumanists. We have retained a volunteer director of publication and a volunteer director of visual art for those purposes. We are currently working with Dmitry Kaminsky and Franco Cortese on an infographic project where we will be creating visual maps of transhumanist organizations and their interconnections. We greatly encourage our members to host events in local communities, then report back regarding them, create recordings that we can publicize on our website.
As to our broader vision and the world that we would like to see, it would be a world in which being transhumanist and life extensionist is considered the mainstream position, the default position. And these attitudes are held irrespective of other partisan affiliations, such that one could be a Republican transhumanist or a Democrat transhumanist or a Green transhumanist in the United States, or a conservative or liberal or socialist or Christian Democrat transhumanist in various countries of Europe. And furthermore, the world right now is in severe political turmoil. Both the left and the right are engaging in pointless and ceaseless hostility and antagonism, sometimes it seems for their own sake. But they will exhaust themselves and people will become tired of this acrimonious style of politics. And after that happens, what will fill the void? We are not certain, but let us work to ensure that this is a constructive vision of the future, that we replace the current turmoil with a mode of building something wonderful, our next great era for the human and transhuman civilization. To that end, I encourage all of you to engage with the U.S. Transhumanist Party. Go to our website. We have over 135 items of content posted thus far. We would like to have a lot more. We have a Facebook page and a Facebook group. We have a Twitter account that is regularly updated. And again, for our members, we have a Google group. Please feel free to email me at the address provided if you have any questions or desire to collaborate with us in any respect. Thank you very much for your time and attention today.